Every time you go online, you leave a digital trail, a unique identifier called your IP address. This string of numbers acts like a return address, telling servers where to send the data you requested. But in the wrong hands, your IP address can reveal much more than you think. Think of it as a digital fingerprint you leave everywhere, often without realizing it. Most people have no idea how much information is tied to this seemingly random set of digits. Your IP can link your online actions, creating a profile of your habits, interests, and routines. This isn't just a concern for celebrities or companies, it affects everyone who connects to the internet. The real risk isn't the IP address itself, but how it can be used as a key to unlock more personal information. A hacker might start with your general location, then connect the dots to your social media, forum posts, and more. Protecting your digital footprint is as important as locking your front door. An exposed IP is like leaving your house keys in the lock, maybe not an immediate threat, but an open invitation. Understanding these risks is the first step toward a safer online experience. In this video, we'll show you how hackers use IP addresses, what they can realistically discover, and how you can protect yourself. Let's get started. The techniques we'll discuss are for education and awareness only. Our goal is to show you the vulnerabilities so you can protect yourself, not to teach hacking. Using these methods without permission is illegal and can have serious consequences. By understanding how attackers think, you can build stronger defenses. This video is for the curious and proactive who want to take control of their online privacy. Think of it as learning how a burglar might break in, not to become one, but to secure your home. The difference between ethical research and illegal hacking is consent. Security professionals work with permission to find and fix weaknesses. Malicious actors do not. Knowledge is neutral. How you use it matters. We condemn any misuse of this information. Use what you learn here to protect yourself and educate others. The examples and tools we mention are to illustrate real-world risks. Let's use this knowledge as a shield, not a weapon. An IP address is a unique number assigned to every device connected to the internet. It's like a mailing address for your computer or phone, telling websites where to send information. Without IP addresses, the internet simply wouldn't work. There are two main types, IPv4, which looks like four numbers separated by dots, and IPv6, which is longer and uses letters and numbers. IPv4 is running out, so IPv6 was created to provide more addresses. Most people don't need to worry about the difference. Just know that your device gets a unique address every time it connects. Your IP isn't always permanent. Most home users have dynamic IPs that change periodically. Businesses might use static IPs that stay the same. At any moment you're online, you have a specific IP address visible to the sites and services you use. This address is the starting point for anyone trying to learn more about your online activity. It's a basic building block of the internet and a potential vulnerability. Understanding how it works is key to protecting your privacy. Let's see what someone can do with just your IP. One of the first things an IP address reveals is your approximate location. It's not GPS accurate, but it can usually pinpoint your country, city, and sometimes even your zip code. This info comes from databases that map IP ranges to ISPs and regions. Hackers use public IP lookup tools to get this data in seconds. For example, if your IP is linked to Dallas, Texas, that's what the lookup will show. Knowing your city helps attackers craft more convincing phishing emails or search for you on social media. The IP provides context that makes other information more powerful. It can also be used for intimidation. Knowing your city can feel unsettling. While an IP won't give away your street address, it narrows the search. Malicious actors might use this to scare or harass you online. That's why understanding the link between your IP and your location is so important. It's a reminder that your digital actions are tied to the real world. Awareness is your first defense. Your IP address can connect your activities across the web. If you use the same internet connection for everything, your public IP links your actions on forums, games, and websites. Hackers can search for your IP in public databases, finding posts, comments, or file shares tied to it. By matching usernames and activities to the same IP, they build a profile of your digital life. They can learn your hobbies, opinions, and even your active hours. Devices also send info like operating system, browser, and language, adding more detail to your profile. Combined with your IP, this data narrows down who you are. The ultimate goal is to link your anonymous IP to your real name. For example, if your IP shows up on a forum and a social media profile, the connection is made. A simple string of numbers can become a tool for doxing or targeted attacks. 
This is how online anonymity can quickly unravel. Protecting your IP is about protecting your identity. Let's look at how attackers get your IP in the first place. Hackers use surprisingly simple methods to get your IP address. Peer-to-peer -peer services like online games or old messaging apps expose your IP to other users. Tools called IP pullers can extract the IPs of everyone in a game lobby or chat. Another method is IP logging links. Hackers send you a link that routes through their server, capturing your IP when you click. These links are often disguised with URL shorteners and sent via email or social media. Web server logs are another source. Anyone running a website can see the IPs of all visitors. If a hacker compromises a site, they can access these logs and target specific users. Social engineering is also common, tricking you into visiting a site or clicking a link to reveal your IP. Sometimes, all it takes is a convincing message or a fake account. These methods rely on both technology and human psychology. That's why awareness and caution are your best defenses. Next, let's see how quickly this can escalate in a real-world scenario. Here's how a simple click can expose you. Imagine Alex, an avid online gamer. After a heated match, another player, Shadow, wants to find out more about Alex. Using a network tool, Shadow grabs Alex's IP address from the game's voice chat. A quick IP lookup shows Alex is in Seattle, Washington. Shadow searches for this IP online and finds a tech forum post by Seattle Tech Guy, who mentions being a university student. Now Shadow knows Alex's likely username, City, and that he's a student. Shadow searches social media for Alex studying tech in Seattle. Soon, he finds Alex Peterson, a computer science student at the University of Washington, with a matching profile picture. In just a few steps, Shadow has connected Alex's gaming persona to his real identity. All it took was an IP address and a few digital breadcrumbs. This is how quickly online disputes can turn into privacy invasions. Protecting your IP is about more than just numbers. It's about your real-world safety. But what can't an IP address reveal? Let's clear up some myths. An IP address alone doesn't reveal your name, home address, phone number, or email. Only your internet service provider can link your IP to your real identity, and they only do so with a court order. An IP address can't directly hack your computer or steal your passwords. It's just an address, not a key to your digital house. Knowing your IP is like knowing your street address. It's not enough to break in. Geolocation isn't always accurate. Sometimes it points to your ISP's office, not your home. Most home users have dynamic IPs that change regularly, making long-term tracking harder. An old IP address from months ago is likely useless to an attacker. While a determined hacker can still try to connect the dots, a single IP is often a dead end. Understanding these limits helps separate real risks from myths. Stay alert, but don't panic. Knowledge is your best protection. Now let's talk about how you can keep your IP address safe. Here's what you can do. Protecting your IP address is easier than you think. The most effective tool is a virtual private network, or VPN, which hides your real IP behind a server in another location. Be cautious with peer-to-peer -peer apps and online games. Check if they offer server-based connections instead of direct ones. Practice good digital hygiene. Don't click suspicious links, and always check where a link leads before clicking. Adjust privacy settings in your apps and social media to limit what's shared and who can contact you. Disable unnecessary features that might expose your IP, like location services or direct connections in chat apps. For maximum anonymity, use secure browsers like Tor, which route your traffic through multiple encrypted layers. Secure your home network with a strong, unique Wi-Fi password and keep your router's firmware updated. These steps won't hide your IP from every website, but they secure your digital perimeter. By combining a VPN, smart browsing, privacy settings, and network security, you make it much harder for anyone to track you. Your online safety is in your hands. Take these steps to protect it. Stay informed, stay cautious, and keep your digital life secure. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more cybersecurity tips.